Exercise 11. Brewster, Conway, and Ogden are partners who share income and loss in a 1 to 4 to 5 ratio. Brewster and Conway are general partners, and Ogden is a limited partner. After lengthy disagreements among the partners in several unprofitable periods, the partners decide to liquidate the partnership. Immediately before liquidation, the partnership balance sheet shows total assets 103,000, total liabilities 77,250, Brewster's capital balance 1,600, Conway's capital balance 9,200, and Ogden's capital balance 14,950. The cash proceeds from selling the assets were sufficient to repay all but $24,000 to the creditors, which means after liquidation, the liabilities, 77250 cannot be fully satisfied with the amount of cash left after the sale. In fact, the amount of cash is $24,000 less than our liabilities. 77250 minus 24000 says that we have assets all in the form of cash of 53250 The amount of the loss is the difference between $103,000 and 53250 After the sale, the asset base was eroded by 49750 The loss is part of equity. So after the liquidation, we still have 53250 in cash, 77250 in liabilities, our three capital balances, and a debit balance in the loss account, 49750 The loss needs to be allocated among our three partners. Their capital balances had been 1600 9200 and 14950 total capital of 25750 and they had been sharing income and loss in the ratio of 1 to 4 to 5. And we need to add up the parts 1 plus 4 plus 5 equals 10, and 10 becomes our denominator in the fraction that we'll use to allocate the $49,750 loss. Brewster will be allocated one-tenth of the $49,750 loss, a loss of 4975 Conway will be allocated four-tenths of the $49,750 loss, a loss of 19900 and Ogden will be allocated five-tenths, half of the loss, of 49750 a loss allocation of 24875 The journal entry is a debit to Brewster's capital account, 4975 a debit to Conway's capital account, 19900 and a debit to Ogden's capital account, 24875 The credit is to the loss account, which closes its balance. The balance in the capital accounts after the loss has been charged. Brewster, a credit balance of 1600 a debit of 4975 gives Brewster a deficit balance, a debit balance, of 3375 Conway had a credit balance of 9200 was debited for $19,900 of losses, bringing Conway's capital account to a deficit balance of $10,700. Ogden's capital account had been a credit balance of $14,950. After the debit for the loss allocation of $24,875, Ogden's capital account has a deficit balance of $9,925. The sum of our three deficit balances is equal to the amount of our unpaid liabilities, $24,000. And had Brewster, Conway, and Ogden all been general partners, these dollar amounts would be the amount of the liability that each partner would be expected to pay. But Ogden is not a general partner. Ogden is a limited partner, which means Ogden is not going to be expected to pay the $9,925 of liabilities. That deficit balance will be absorbed by Brewster and Conway. Using the remaining ratio, Brewster and Conway are sharing income and losses in the ratio of 1 to 4, a total of 5. 5 is the denominator we'll use in the fraction to allocate Ogden's deficit balance of 9925 Brewster will absorb one-fifth of the $9,925 deficit balance, 1985 Conway will absorb four-fifths of the $9,925 deficit balance, $7,940. The journal entry for the allocation of the limited partner's loss 
is a debit to Brewster's capital account, 1,985, a debit to Conway's capital account, 7,940, and a credit to Ogden's capital account, 9,925, bringing Ogden's capital balance up to zero. The allocation of the limited partner's loss does not change equity in total, it simply changes the allocation. The balance in Brewster's capital account had been a deficit of 3,375. The additional loss of 1,985 gives Brewster a deficit balance of 5,360. Conway had a deficit balance of 10,700 and had to absorb an additional loss of 7,940, giving Conway a deficit balance of 18,640. Ogden's capital account has been brought up to zero. The total capital is a deficit of $24,000. Brewster will be expected to pay $5,360 to satisfy the remaining liabilities. Conway is expected to pay $18,640 to satisfy the liabilities, and Ogden has no responsibility toward that $24,000 debt.